Good day everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the power bank itself. 70 my. It's the jump start power bank. As you can see it's come with a nice pouch inside. And uh, if you take a look, this is the pouch itself. It has a nice feel and uh, uh, even a holder for you to hold it. Uh, just bring it around, easy to bring it around. Now inside you can see that's the power bank itself. This is the cables, the cables, as well as uh, manuals and uh, charging wires, right? So this is the manual itself. You can see it is also available in English. So in case you want to refer to it, uh, it's a good reference. This the power cable. It's nicely firm. The materials look solid, not flimsy at all. The wires also seems to be thick. That's a good thing. Right now let's take a look at the power bank itself. Feels quite heavy and sturdy. So let's uh, take a closer look at it. Right, it's really a solid piece of power bank. Now these are the ports for you to charge. You can also charge your phones. It's a light itself. Okay, you can use it as a torchlight. That's the power indication. Right, long press to off, long press to on again, short press, you can see the SOS light, there's two modes to it, it's a little bit slower blinking and it's off. So I put the car battery port to it, shows it, let's follow the, there are two sizes, small and long one. So I just insert it in the correct orientation. Okay, this is the orientation actually. And this is negative, and this is the positive end to the batteries. And there's a very strong grip to it, so you hold the battery points uh, quite solidly. And we have indications the red one in case you uh, put the polarity wrongly the green one is if you put it correctly this will be a green and there's also a boost button in case the power is not enough press the boost to see now this comparison between the normal power bank and also the uh, 70 my as you can see the normal power bank is 221 grams okay as for the my 70 is 416 17 grams right so it's uh, almost double the weight and um, of course it packs a lot of power compared with the regular pinang uh, thousand milliampere so uh, sorry 10,000 milliampere so size wise comparison you can see it's just double the size actually slightly taller thicker twice the thickness and this is the comparison so if you're thinking of bringing it putting it in your phone or bag uh, it's quite heavy piece it's like you're carrying uh, two or three phones at a time so let's see the installation it's tested on VRV 1.5 as you can see, uh, battery age is 6 months, 
It's a bit green because I left the light open. And uh, this is how it's going to work. Uh, after two weeks of without battery, drain. And this is the process actually. So here you can see me fixing uh, the uh, positive end. Right. Let's place the uh, power bank there. Okay, now if you take a look at it, that's the green indication meaning the connection is correct. Okay, let me show you up close. That's a positive end, and you can see the green light. Okay, now let's try the snap. It's not starting actually. Not enough power. Let's try it again. No, it's not starting. Let's give it some moment again. Starts properly. No, no, still struggling. Hmm, it does, it does have more juice compared with the uh, non boost options. Alright, so let's try, give one more try. This is the second start with booster button. Now take note that you need to start the car within 30 seconds. Yep, that's it. Finally it started. So you can see the car runs perfectly without issues. So that's a good thing. The jump start works. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if it helped you. See you again on another video. Bye.